Hello everyone. Um, this is me. I'm back. So I'm here for online tutorial to discuss with you about IDJ. And uh, as you can see, <laughs> my background is uh, around Hope County. Yes, this is Far Cry Five. And uh, I'm gonna embarrass myself today. Kind of. Yeah. There you go. So I'm kind of remote playing uh, from the console but that's just my background but here I'm here for you tonight and I think we have probably about half an hour to about 45 minutes session and I'm here to take your questions and also to give you a little bit of um, overview so it's all going to be verbal because the background is this so I'm not really uh, looking at the website background, but if you need me to show you uh, anything or to give you some helpful guides online I can just just give a shout and ask away and I will be happy to um, Show you Okay, hope everyone's had the dinner and everything. Hi Renesha. How are you doing? Hey mating um, Everyone's who's online now. Thanks for joining um, hello in Chai, Mark, Young Hui, Rian, how you doing? Moon Moon, Chandrina, hey Umi, nice to see you guys here. Uh, very good evening, Nathaniel, Shu Her, Shu Xin, Lydia Chung, Jensen, Jason, uh, Trivena, nice to meet you. yeah so anyway now earlier we had um, some some interesting tutorial sessions um, I think Tuesday I had some very interesting tutorial sessions with the um, uh, with the oh boy okay I had tutorial sessions with FIS on Tuesday and I've had tutorial sessions today with FID and FNBE and <coughs> Um, I think I've seen some idea journals on Tuesday and I think I've not seen everybody's uh, idea journals in FIS I think um, Madam V is pretty much on top of that um, So Choi is also on top of the um, idea journal reviews for FIA however I would love to see some FIA journals um, soon maybe next week or something so I'll discuss with Mr. Choi on that one and uh, I believe can you guys hear me? Yeah, give me a thumbs up if you can hear me. So, um, also the idea journals for FNB and FID today. I've seen I've seen uh, a large number of them today, and there are those who have not yet shown me um, your idea journals. So, I look forward to seeing those next week. Um, overall right the idea journals everyone has got it right basically you have assignment 1 and you've got ideation in assignment 1 and we got ideation in assignment 2 um, ideation means you got all these sketches and you've got some idea proposals some exploration um, you know in, in your idea journals and some of you have done some extra work now basically in idea journal you need there are probably about um, three main things that goes on in your idea journal okay one is your assignment and projects uh, exploration that means you have sketches sketch notes uh, some written work about the assignment some proposals some things that you do as a group paste ups technique and style can be can be varied okay uh, with different students Number two, lecture notes. Some of you have put lecture notes, which is very good to see. Um, I encourage you to do that. And the lecture notes, you don't really need, it's not dictation, like I said, put only what's really important. And I really, uh, it's really admirable for, for those who actually um, take down notes in the morning. It shows that you're attentive, that you're trying to understand something. But I'd really encourage everyone to engage in Q&A, ask more questions, okay? And have a discourse. Discourse means like an exchange of opinions, which is quite good, 
yeah um, then number three your personal journey your personal inspiration it can be various things anything uh, as I said before have the practice in CTS class this one module that encourages you and to, to practice taking your idea journals everywhere you go hey Edward um, hi hey you Shodan what's up good so I'm glad you guys can hear me so as I was saying, uh, so these three main things. One is the assignments and assignment project um, exploration ideas. Number two, you have um, what's number two? <laughs> Lecture notes, and then number three is your personal inspirations. It can be inventions, it can be pretty much anything. So if you guys have any questions concerning that, feel free to type your questions here while I wait for them. Yeah, I'll wait for them. So while waiting for them, here goes. Oh boy. Now, oops. All right, so I'm in Far Cry 5 and I'm actually um this is where i am in the map and looking at this map is quite interesting now some of you are not familiar with this game that's pretty much okay <laughs> i'm sorry i'm using this game uh not pubg or anything like that but yeah but um this is a really this is an open world game you can see the map is pretty big and if I zoom out a little bit more, you can see that the two main villains that I've already assassinated. But you know what? This this assassinations, <laughs> the success of uh, eliminating the two two bosses over here, was like months ago. Yeah, I know, right? Because I had no time, <laughs> no time <laughs> to even. Um, yeah, the the other things about strategy games is like mostly the PC versions but those were just purely for research not so much of spending playing you know you know even if you when you come to my age and if you're a game researcher or, or you know if you research games and things like that you don't really not all the time you play for entertainment but if it's for you I'm tempted to play this entertainment and I think I think why not isn't it yeah Hey Atika, hey, uh, how are you, Lashkari? Welcome. So, so now I'm going to the the third boss's region, which is Faith, and Faith is creepy because she just I could hear her, I could see her appearing and disappearing here and there. Um, it's that's a storyline because these these three of them are siblings. They're brothers and sisters, and they belong to a cult. Basically, they're running a cult, and I'm one of the sheriff's deputies who survived the capture, and I'm going around trying to liberate this whole map from the cult. You know, it's a cult, right? Yeah, some kind of uh, um, deviant religion or uh, deviant teaching or something like that. So. Now, I'm going straight to Fate's region and, oops, I'm zooming in really close. I have not gone to this guy's camp to help him out. Um, he's supposed, he, he could be one of my, uh, I would say, the like a gun for hire. Now, I've liberated many guns for hire in the past, but I have not um, liberated this guy. He's he has a flamethrower so I think I might probably, probably want to do that this time so right now just for fun's sake I'm actually on the highest peak in this map uh, where is it where am I now here I'm right here and there is um, an outpost here which I can liberate uh, it's called Eden Con Eden's convent I'm not sure how the what's the difficulty level here I think it looks like there's three stars to it see it um maybe it's a bit difficult right so now i'm here up here and and they're down here 
so I I could actually like wingsuit myself uh, wingsuit down to this place so while I play throw some questions and I'll come back to you Edward prank video together yeah you're on but uh, let's just finish one outpost and then we could we could do this so feel free to type your questions there and I'll I would love to answer them okay so while waiting for that here goes and if you have any feedback to my gameplay feel free to post your feedback as well and make some suggestions now look I'm a pretty big noob when it comes to this <laughs> all right here goes uh, first let me just decide who's going to help me I'm just going to select should I select her because she's she's a, a chopper pilot and I could call her to to give me a lift here and there and she can also like use the weapons and the helicopter this is my pet um, it's a Jaguar Jaguar yeah it's a Jaguar and it can help me kill silently this one is good for stealth and it stalks the enemy and stuff this is also one of my pets um, this is cheeseburger basically I rescued these animals and they became well my my allies and they are going to help me out you know so I, they will they will follow me and help me out and all and stuff so and this guy's Herc Herc has been appearing in pretty much almost all the Far Cry franchise and it's kind of a mercenary gun weapon stealer so he is a crazy stupid guy really <laughs> but but he's very good with like uh, explosive weapons and things like that and she's she's good with arrows okay she's good with arrows and so this and she does it silently and things like that so yeah and she's a sniper so she can she's pretty good with a sniper rifle a sniper rifle is a rifle with a big scope and can shoot from a distance but she doesn't use a silencer or, or suppressor and pretty noisy so I rather do the sniping myself actually this guy he converted his uh, like seaplane into uh, a fighting plane where he can drop bombs and shoot and stuff like that pretty cool pretty cool very useful he can strafe the the outpost if you want him to come and do stuff uh, he can even shoot down enemy planes too this is one of my favorites my dog so what he does is he could track down all the enemies who's around there whom I can't see so he can sniff them out and nobody will know that this dog belongs to me so this guy is a good infiltrator and he can spot from long distance so so left one more person this is the guy Sharky so Sharky was the on the map earlier that I shown uh, these are some of my perks I've un not unlocked every perk yet as you can see I played bef quite a lot before you know sometimes just to wind down um, these are the challenges and these are some of the things that I, I got um, around the map I could buy stuff here as well some yeah I've got some collectibles as well so there you go um, yeah these are some of the other parts of Far Cry that Far Cry okay I never, I never quite tried Far Cry Arcade um, but it's nice to try Far Cry Arcade with friends and if any one of you have a Far Cry console you can co-op with me if you like but I think you guys prefer like PUBG and stuff so and this one is live events there you go yeah live events so yeah I'm not gonna bother with those things here this is character customization so what does my character look like that's me hey 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 <laughs> yeah you were wondering Mr. Charles is not brown here he's like Caucasian okay so all right so I'm here now that's this creepy woman okay you wanna go let's go now I'm just gonna go up here so I can wingsuit down 
First I gotta choose a waypoint. Maybe I'll liberate this outpost. Here it is. So I'm actually like wingsuiting down. You can see that's the enemy chopper, I think. And uh, so. You are kind of, you are like this character, right? You're kind of like the character that I'm playing. You're kind of like maneuvering your way through life and trying to fight enemies. And your enemies are like adversaries. And adversaries and adversities are some are something like that. So I kind of like, whenever I play games like this, so sometimes it kind of teach me a thing or two about strategy. Kind of like creative thinking, isn't it? Now... When you game, you definitely need to strategize, now, especially games like this. Uh, right now, my strategy is not to go directly onto this, onto the onto the outpost. I need to actually pull my chute up and land nearby, not exactly there. Oops, oops. Oh, silly me. <laughs> What did I do? I pulled the shoot up too late. I told you I'm some such a dumb gamer. As you can see, I haven't been doing this for a while. One thing <coughs> about strategies, when you play games it's very hard to note down strategies. But when you're doing I when you're working with ideas, then you can actually work with strategies easily. You can actually um like um record your strategies like what we see what we did today so oh well so there you go i'm doing this again So when you work with strategies, uh, the good thing about games like this is that you have many ways to solve that one problem. Now the problem here is how do I liberate an outpost filled with many adversaries, uh, many um, enemies. Okay, there's so many enemies there. So how do I um, solve that? So how do I approach it? Which way? Okay. So, and and how interesting it is that that games like this can actually simulate what some of the possibilities, uh, some of the solutions that you could take. All right. Ah. Oh. oh no, I got spotted. I gotta run. Oh. So much profanity here. So my strategy is usually to scout the place. Uh, scout the place and see where they are. I think they are on alert. Probably some of them are looking for me. So after scouting the place, well, some of them are still pretty relaxed so I could sneak up on them. 
So what I do is I'm just going to tell my dog my dog to to go around the place and see if he could mark the enemies for me. It's um, it's not a very difficult outpost to, so maybe just get rid of this guy. Yeah, change my weapon. Kind of like long range weapon, perhaps. Hmm. Let's go closer. Alright, so a little glitchy here because of the um, bandwidth. Hmm. Okay. <clears throat> oh man. What's wrong with them? Why are they not hunting me? Wow. Well, it's a bit glitchy. It's not so... Um, I think there are three more enemies around here. Where are they? Profanity. Thank you, dog. Oh, that was easy. <laughs> so there you go, an easy game. That was way too easy. So... So, yeah. <laughs> I thought this was going to be really difficult. It wasn't as difficult as I thought. So... 
so one mission down and that's pretty much it that's okay <laughs> what's up Jason so you can't believe this is happening what what is it what is it that it what is happening that you can't believe so um looks like there's not much of a challenge here isn't it the game the game was actually quite too easy and uh it was nothing much to to analyze i'd rather really go to a, a really difficult outpost and analyze how that strategy can be used um so um just going to I need I need I need my character to get killed somewhere then then maybe I could quit this game right oh boy look at that maybe I'm just gonna enjoy extreme sports yes Isn't this exciting? No, oh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, keep going. The water looks that way because Sorry. What's going on? Who's Oops. Yeah, a little bit of action finally. Oh look, a plane. Oh, one of my guys got injured, I forgot. Sorry. Okay, let's get into a plane. Oh no, who spotted me? Sorry. That's one thing about games, right? <laughs> they don't really follow the real physics. <laughs> oh, so the plane can just take off from very short distance. Aha. Uh -huh. Let's shut up the glasses. Don't you like flying? Isn't flying awesome? And you can get to a really high altitude like real fast. Uh, so, where am I right now? Okay, so I'm right here right now. So, um, these are uncharted territories. So I'm probably going to wingsuit down and then I'm going to quit this. Still waiting for questions, comments, nobody. Alright.
Okay. I think... What time is it? Okay. Half an hour. Uh, probably about... I'm just gonna quit this right now. Save my progress and quit. Okay, so now... So, um... Okay, so I've got some... had some gameplay going on and... Yeah, just boring the heck out of myself. But mostly, it's kind of an entertaining thing. So that's just, that is the Far Cry gameplay. So you can see there's not much of a it's not much of a strategy going on there, isn't it? Not much because the difficulty level in that in that particular mission wasn't that interesting. I think I think we need to see another game or maybe another gameplay that has probably a very very bigger much bigger difficulty level. So Far Cry seemed to be easy for some reason, although I have not played it for ages. It's hard to find time. So anyway, uh, back to the um, what I was supposed to tell you about IDJs. So the idea journals, yeah, as mentioned in class, put everything in. Now you can you can actually use uh, Polaroids, Instax. Um, you know, print out pictures, which I've seen some of you have uh, were printing out um, lots of photos that you have taken before in smaller sizes. But don't just barely paste it there. You know, you can actually write something about it and make some collage work. I have shown you. Um, I believe I posted an Instagram post. Um, on the collage work, so just have a look. Have a look at the Instagram post. It's called Collage Art, and I put that in in the group page. So. So what I can show you right now, let me see if I can switch to this. There you go. I think, I uh, hope I did that. Okay. There you go. So this is the Instagram post I was talking to you about and yeah. So what you can see here is collage art. Uh, wait, hang on. Hang on a sec. But mentioning this in in class lately and and yeah so there you go I'm not sure why all oh, right that's a, that's why yeah size matters <laughs> sorry about that so just gonna push this up to the a little higher so that's collage art at the moment yeah there you go so now I could I could actually show you everything so you if you browse through this channel you'll be able to see um, all kinds of experiments on collage um, if you notice printed material has modifications on it so when we talk about zigzag process and one one of the important things on the creative process is modification 
so you can modify um, if you had for example the gameplay that I had I could screenshot the gameplay I could like print that out and I could just cut out some bits and I could just make it into some kind of different statement now when we talked about personal statement images collage art is one of the most exciting ways to go about it and if I were to make my personal statement I would do a gameplay thing for myself with the gameplay background and I will cut stuff out and I would just change modify and make myself look different but collage way but not so much of a digital style but collage way but and, and most of what you're seeing here are non-digital they are they are done manually so the good thing about collage art is manual 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 manip, um, manual graphic manipulation using various mediums you know to cut out to paint to draw you you could actually do some very meticulous work or something very uh, rough and simple so nothing nothing you see is um, an original image everything has been modified yeah you can have like you can have multiple images like combined into one image so your third assignment which is talking about the um, the I'll say personal statement image so the personal statement image is very much something like how you want yourself to be looked at kind of like your brand style so it can be a full body shot or it can be just a face a facial shot um, this one here is another idea yeah so you could have segments um, it can if it's a full body shot it does not have to be like totally full body it can be cropped so you can have your face like half your face here um, you could also have yeah it could also look something like this yeah um, so the personal statement image can be mainly collage works try to avoid digital style uh, digit sorry try to avoid digital apps to do this or uh, if you do but print it and modify it manually um, you could use a cutter and a cutting mat or you can use a scissors you could use you can have mul you can use the concept of multiplicity um, replication you can replicate yourself like this or different versions of yourself you could wear costumes yeah um, you can do things like this like for example you see like this is an example like it could be a real photo but then you can bleach it and m mutilate that photo to a point that it's you know you know I used to soak a normal photograph you know a printed photo actual photo paper I used to soak it for a day or two until the layers the color layers are loose so what I did was I take a coin and I just lightly rub off those layers and it's got a really fascinating effect and you can you can actually do artworks on a piece of old photographic paper today people don't always print photos you know but you can intentionally print one on photographic paper and soak it and do things with it so that's that's one way so it, so newspaper cutouts um, even comics can work if you want if you want yourself to look like you're in a comic yeah so please um, feel free to explore this site this is a really fascinating site um, it's called collage art Instagram um, I think you know if you go to Instagram you can actually do a search if you just type collage and you should be able to see um, <laughs> some collagen <laughs> Korean collagen oh my god it's like all this beauty stuff um, <clears throat> collage art collage there's one collage here that says collage um, also to do with collage but this got 10 10 million posts Oof, really <laughs> um, yeah personal statement so you can be it, it can be a multiple post right so there are multiple images here but this is more like a fashion image yeah I will be careful what I click here because it might reveal other things Hey Jeff, what's up? <laughs> so, 
So you can have a cartoon version of yourself, but for those who um, say they don't want to post your pictures, you know, here and all, you know, all this sort of thing. So you want to substitute? Maybe you can figure out a, a good way for substitution. One way is that photo manipulation, photo mutilation. You can mutilate it. Um, you could. Yeah, you could do things like this. Yeah, you can make yourself look a little subtle but still recognizable. Um, you can avoid pictures like this. <laughs> then again, I'm not going to stop you. Um, you see, this is interesting. But I can't really recognize the face, but maybe the body can change. Or maybe you can have a little eye patch. Uh, this is one way, one, another interesting way. Yeah, just cut out photocopy drawn photocopy cut out and then making it um, creating multiple layers um, see how clever this is done yeah so make it very make it conceptual make it um, make it make it really strong in terms of what it's saying to the audience like many of what I'm looking at here, they're not all portraits, but they're strong enough. So here, these can be one style. Look at that; it's almost sequential. Yeah, you can you you can do it this way too. You know, this is quite interesting. Quite like this. This is interesting. You can see a sequence, like how what's happening here. Yeah, and if you make sequences like this, they can almost be like gifs. So you have one printed version, okay, on the A4 and a little bit of uh, explanation, right? But you can also have a digital version and you can put that digital version on your blog. For example, you have multiple pictures like this. If it's sequential, it can be a GIF. So oh, there's so many posts here, it's quite impressive. It says 10 million posts, really? How do I access all the posts? Oh, it keeps loading. This is interesting. <laughs> this dude in ice cream juxtapose. If you juxt juxtapose, is like putting two things together. Yeah. And yeah, if you're an anime fan, you know what to do. You can also do juxtapose. For example, half your face is your favorite anime character and half is your face as long as I can rec recognize that but don't just do that you know you could change the background do a little bit of scratching at the edges uh, some finishing qualities like putting a little icing on the cake yeah so explore explore sites like this for you to actually uh, make your really a really good personal statement image yeah hey Edward are you still there okay so even for your IDJ right all these techniques applies all these techniques can apply uh, as far as your personal expression is concerned and and if you if you found found materials are really powerful uh, so far in this collage work, you can see multiple kinds of materials, all kinds of strange materials. But I like okay, this is interesting. Like you see, if you go to a little wall and if you see a sticker, then you can actually take a sticker and paste, stick the sticker off that wall or part of that part of the uh, bill sticker or um, uh, a poster, which is an old poster that can be a background for your page. In, yes, I'm serious. And then you can actually use uh, some kind of acrylic and prime a, sec a section of it and write some things on it. So you could you could do things like that. It, it has value because that material, that background, that thing was you took it from another location and not everybody can do things like that. So adding value to your IDJ that way is a lot more interesting. It's not like some some of you like to do things like this, but some of you you can still add value where you are at you don't if you if you're not moving here and there so adding value to one piece of page 
yeah that it matters how you do it um, so sometimes it's really the question of what is a page yeah why I'm looking this way is because I'm looking at uh, one of my hang on. yeah I was looking at one of my old rough very rough uh, s sketching book and I'm just uh, looking at some old collage work oh wow you know sometimes when you look at some old old stuff it's just ex some old experiments oh my gosh and I, I did some collage work in the past and this is one of my old collage work um, I think I was making some kind of game card before but this was ages ago I'm can't remember how long this was it kind of looks like this no I um, I think I was in I was in my foundation <laughs> yeah I still have some of my foundation work and this was this was part it was part of my journal this 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 thing here is a um, combination of you know you know this you know the fonts yeah those fonts I photocopied those fonts and I blow it up really large I can't remember and I combine those fonts together I overlap them and they look kind of different and then I kind of pasted it they kind of look like runes so I just I, I, I did I had there's no drawing done here the only thing is I just pasted here and what I did was I did some uh, use charcoal I use charcoal to create this effect so I just this didn't merely paste it I just created some effects out here and did some line work and then I was making this into a card so we've got rune cards and these were supposed to be like game cards but this was way back in my foundation um, <laughs> ages ago you know um, I've got oh my gosh yeah a bit of a mess even Remember the days of the acetate, you know, I remember working with acetates. Using acetates are very interesting as well. Um, yeah, you know, I'll, I'll show you more things later. I'm kind of like, yeah, they're kind of all over the place. Um, actually, it was because I was looking through some of my old works and just trying to get them organized. Yeah, my room is a bit of a clutter. <laughs> so, so that's going to be a while if I were to do that and I think my time time is coming to an end uh, our live stream is coming to an end if I don't see anyone giving me any feedback oh no one is saying nothing I wish somebody would say something um, so anyway but nice nice of all of you to join in earlier on and if you have thanks for thanks for joining and I hope you've got some information from some of my explanation and my gameplay was pretty embarrassing but yeah so if you want to suggest to me uh, some more interesting gameplay suggest to me a challenge I would suppose the gameplay wasn't challenging enough but I think maybe if you guys can give me a challenge then I could play that and yeah just suggest to me what game it is then maybe I could arrange for a, a game review so so far Far Cry yeah um, I played Far Cry before and I think the last gameplay showed more challenging situations compared to this one this one's a bit of a Zen kind of thing so so I hope you got other informations um, that I've managed to say verbally to you and I hope that that you got something out of joining and watching this stream even uh, if it's not live so I hope you guys have a good night and um, wish you all the best in trying to figure out the best practices and the best way 
to record your ideas remember to zip, 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 zigzag you know um, Zorro <laughs> so zigzag like Zorro so zigzag and apply the eight steps of creative thinking in any possible way you already know what the eight steps are and you have been doing it uh, conscious unconsciously and today we have given you a brief explanation as to what really has happened and it's good that you can figure out how your decisions have uh, say given birth to specific strategies and processes and when you write those strategies those can be compiled into a specific method so you can tell others say, what what's your creative if people to ask you so what kind of creative thinking strategy do you apply well this is my strategy it's called this because that is how I that is what that's the kind of action that I took when I wanted to solve a problem so and everybody's language every single individual's vocabulary will talk about this kind of strategies in very different ways in different perspective and that's the beauty of all of you <laughs> you're so different and unique so let's continue to celebrate that uniqueness and i hope i wish you all the best and uh, have a good night and i'll see you next week in class and make sure everybody shows up sh uh, <laughs> make sure everybody show up okay because we will talk about the exhibition and um, we hope to get a layout of the gallery a proper layout and then we're just going to mark where everybody's works are going to be and madam v um, i'm going to be talking to madam v mr Choi, and we're going to be discussing how we're going to be displaying your work and how it's going to give that impression of variety to celebrate that kind of variety so we haven't really got a title for the exhibition yet so if you have a suggestion for the title feel free to post in the group and that's it so thank you for watching and have a good night i'm gonna go offline pretty soon going offline in three good night everyone Three, two, one, ending live video. Ah, there was one question. Sorry, sorry, halting the countdown. Hey, QI. Okay, one last feedback is um, if you want to do all the editing of your photo digitally, you can. You can digitally do the editing if your photo but you need to finish it off with a manual manipulation which means that after editing your photo digitally print it on a normal paper and or a coated paper whichever paper you choose then paste that paper and do something like a collage art so so check check the collage art for for some tips and how you could manipulate or just experiment it yourself if you need more guidance then maybe i can do a demo or something so just I, but i need request uh, i need to get request from you so you got to respond all right so if there's not no other questions i think there's only one question so far all right so all of you thanks for joining have a good night live long <laughs> and prosper take care bye bye